I'm, I'm Anne Maraz. I'm editor of TES, the Times Educational Supplement, and also a judge on the Global Teacher Prize. And I'm absolutely delighted to be introducing Marit Rossi to you today to give you a lesson in maths. Um, Marit was concerned that students would do anything rather than learn maths. She believed that the problem was entirely due to the way mathematics was being taught. So she began to develop a method that teaches mathematics by asking students to collaborate in groups and solve real life problems. And I very much hope that's what she's going to ask us to do here today. No, you're going to ask us to solve problems? They are solving problems with me. They're solving them with you. Yep. And are, are we going to solve them with you today? Yes, yes. Oh, exciting. Well, <laughs> over to you, Merit. Thank you. Good afternoon, Kalas. How are you? Great. And I'm so glad that the classroom is full of students who love math. So today, we have a task together. And when you have done the task, you can think that are you solving the problem with your intuition or using your logical thinking or using them both? And that we can do it with your computers, your phones, and you have to go now with, the, with this network and the, you find the lesson with funlearning.fi slash Dubai. And you can, you can send this one also to your friends later today and look if they can do it it's so well than you are doing. And uh, I love when students are doing in groups and by pairs. So I invite... Can I take the microphone away? Because you don't need it. You have a microphone. You have a microphone. Oh my God. You're all wired up, Mary. Do, you, to go. do you hear me? Okay, have you heard me what I have said? <laughs> Great, <laughs> all right. So this is much more comfortable like this. Let's she look. She snatched it from the <laughs> task. Now first you go to the lesson also. And the subject of today is polyminers and you have to remember when you are starting work that polyform consists of squares and each square shares at least one side with another square. And the squares are connected by the share, shared size. Put your hands up if you have found this. One, two, three, we have to wait a little bit. I want more students involved. This is the page you have to find. And if, if one find, you can make it in two together or three together because it's nice when you discuss what you find. Now I ask again, how many has found this one? Still, still two less. The funlearning.fi slash Dubai. Yes, the network is really slow currently, so uh, you can just uh, check the presentation. And, uh, okay, but if it's really nice, if some of you can do together. So, so you can put the squares this like together, but not this like. So this is the first task. And now, then you don't have this possibility to take hands on. Now you think about it, and I will, I will do it. We take the first one. And there are only three squares. So now you have to remember how you connect them. This is warning that now you have missed one square. 
remember that this is task for three squares, and we try to find different solution for how to combine them. So maybe the first one is the easiest one, and it looks like a worm. Did you find it? Great. And then when I try to find the second one, now you have to remember that this solution is same than this solution, or this solution. So it's, when it's like an image picture, then it's same solution. All right, there was only two solutions because we had only, we had only three squares. But now I would like to have some volunteers here. Oh, there I see, and there, great. So if, if you come, and if you come, because it was so nice to get the volunteer. And we go to the next. Please sit down. And now you can follow how they do it. And as a gentleman, please let her try first. <laughs> and I hope that as many of you are doing the same with your phones and tablets. Great. So what's, it's the reading, great, the second. Wow. It's like you are like competition there. You can also discuss with each other. Do you think you have find all? Wow. All right. But then we take more of these squares and slow down a little bit because we have to give the chance for the other students also. And if you have a paper and pencil, you can do it by drawing. This is like we have done earlier in the classrooms. A lot of nice problems you are drawing, but I think children really enjoy also this kind of working. So please, you can start and try to look how they work. Are they working on the base of intuition or are they using some kind of logical thinking? Okay. And then, and then wait a moment, I want that the other class Students also, they, they need, to, I want that you are comfortable, you, you feel yourself that this is great, you don't have to have a pressure on the mathematics, you can fa have fun. And this is nice, I like these two because they are doing together. Are there anyone else who is doing together? Great. Anyone else? Super. Only woman, hello, where are the men? Over there? Great. Are there still no men working with? Is it too hard for the boys? Yes. Yes, good. Usually they said that math would be difficult for girls. No. When girls can work together like you are doing here, there is a relaxed atmosphere in the classroom and you are not pushed what is the right answer? What is the right answer? It's, it's totally terrible. Not very good way to, to exercise mathematics because then you begin to hate it. You have to have comfortable with mathematics. Okay, and now if you continue, you have found already two, okay. Make couple. And all right, now we stop a little bit. How many of you have found nine solutions like they have found? Great. Oh, 
somebody has found ten. Woohoo! All right. Now you can continue, and now you can discuss with each other. <laughs> they are so eager that they just want to put their own. It's my style. <laughs> there it is. Somebody said that I can't move so much because the camera don't find me, but I love to move and go around with the students to support them. So now I try to be here for a moment. All right. And they have done the whole thing there. They have found 12. So we congratulate them. And this same task can be continued so that student would study about the area, the perimeter, and how does it change or doesn't change? And what would be maybe the perimeter, what the rule of this? So very interesting task today we can use with the computers. But mostly I like that it's part of the teaching and learning. I love when students are hands-on working, group working, and then also big themes. I have to say that you were excellent students. Thank you very much. So what do you, sorry, what did you mean? Oh, okay, okay. So this is, this is actually this task, a very classical task. And uh, if you go back to mathdoc.com, that's the material of what I have developed 20 years experience of my long teaching time. And, and now I'm such a happy moment that I have found a partner and we are updating it much higher level. And this same task is there, but then you have to solve it with the paper, like here the group of girls did, by drawing it. So now we can lift the task more interesting, some of them. And my new partner is a spin from Rovio, a spin-off startup company, Fun Academy. So we are now started to work together. So it means that the path to math will be raised on the second level and more interesting for all the students all around the world. So we have five minutes time. Do you have any other questions? But you were really super. What I believe, I believe that when students get positive emotions when learning mathematics, it's crucial important. And I think that mathematics hasn't changed maybe 100 years. In some, I don't know why it's so up there when it can be here in your heart. So you have to add social learning, learning by doing, and those themes which I mentioned. Not single separate task, it has to be a nice interesting area and everything is covered, covered and you can solve by the math. And especially when in this conference we are speaking, 
that we have big problems. It's not anymore our problem, personal problems in the world, it's our problems. So we have to give tools to the students that they can and they will solve them. Thank you.